what's up bringing you that i'm up to show 18 so we got the roster update today definitely some big changes there and then we got some new positional programs we opened up the monthly awards packs and a 20 pack bundle in the last video so make sure to check that out but let's take a quick look at the roster update like i said i don't really like going over these but there was some big changes i feel like so bryce harper stayed the same but did get a power increase versus righties jose ramirez went up one Justin Verlander went up one. He also is the May Play of the Month card. So I was kind of surprised about that. Freddie Freeman got a nice plus two upgrade. And then Jacob DeGrom got plus one. Buster Posey goes down one. And James Paxton gets plus one. So he was the sole player that went from gold to diamond. Gary Cole did get some upgrades, but also got downgraded in walk per nine. Or yeah, walk per nine and hit home run per nine. But he did get upgrades in hit per nine and K per nine. So he's still a gold starting pitcher. But I do expect him to go diamond at some point. Carrasco went down to gold. So that's a big change right there. Doolittle gets plus two. Aranola gets plus one. And then Adrian Beltre goes down to a gold. So that is another big change. M much easier now to complete the Rangers collection yeah the collection i was gonna say team epic but the rangers collection yellick stays the same i guess his position changed alex wood got some upgrades and then got some downgrades i actually expect him to get more downgrades he hasn't really been playing that well eddie rosario goes up to a gold andrew benintendi goes up to a gold and i'm kind of disappointed about this because i bought like a ton of him last update like two weeks ago and he got upgrades but also got downgrades that week and this week he ended up getting gold so I didn't have the same amount of players. Ron Braun goes down. Brandon Morrow goes up to a gold. So that's a nice upgrade for him. Blake Snell goes up to a gold plus four. D Gordon goes down one because he changed his position, which is kind of weak. So no, no stat changes, but at least he's still a gold. Gene Segura goes up to a gold. Brandon Crawford goes up to a gold. And Ross Stripling goes up to a gold. I think that's all of them that actually went up. Cody Bellinger went down to a silver. So he got quite a few downgrades, especially in contact and power. And then I don't think there's anything else that was major. Cody Allen goes down to a silver. Dallas Keuchel goes down to a silver. And then I don't think any other person actually changed tiers. That's big. Like Mitch Moreland went up to a silver. And then I think that's it. Daniel Megden, he goes up to a silver. And then Velasquez Silver, Schwarber Silver. There's actually a lot of changes. 18 pages. Wow. Seager goes down. Wow. I didn't I didn't see that. Matt Kemp goes up. He's having a pretty good year. He's definitely having a pretty good year right here. And then I'll just I'll just quickly go through the rest of these. Aguilar is a nice upgrade. That's that's a nice one for sure. Oscar Hernandez, that's a good upgrade. Daniel Winkler. Devers went down. Devers went down too. So he's now a bronze player. And then let's see uh, who else. King Ree, King Ree got a new position. Any other big names? Doesn't seem like any other big names. Austin Meadows plus seven. He's he's doing pretty good right now. He's definitely doing pretty good right now. So maybe a future investment. He he probably could go to silver if he keeps doing what he's doing. But he also has to worry about like the outfield in Pittsburgh because I think you know there's a lot of people there that makes it hard for him to play. But he's definitely having a good season. Miguel Andujar. Goes up plus two. I think he will go silver for sure at some point. And then Marco Gonzalez. Marco Gonzalez got a big upgrade. Plus 11. He's doing really good. He's been doing really good last month. So that's a big upgrade right there. Brandon Nemo gets plus three. Alka gets plus five. Any other big ones? Oh, Steven Wright. They put him back. Yo, they trolled us. They put him down to a common pitcher for the last event. Because he was a relief pitcher. And now they put him back to a starting pitcher. Which made him a bronze. Good good troll job right there. Good troll job right there. I think that's it. That that seems pretty much it for the roster update. So yeah. I ended up going through everything. Even though I didn't want to. But there was some big upgrades for sure. In the roster update. But now let's check out the positional programs. These are the new ones that came out. So there is actually quite a few. We have Josh Harrison. He's the first one. 81 overall gold card. Has 88 contact versus righties. 96 versus lefties. 49 power versus righties. And 41 versus lefties. And 82 vision. So he has great contact numbers. And pretty good vision. Power numbers are kind of low. I would, I would actually expect his power numbers to be a little bit higher. Maybe around like 50 or 60. But 
you know, that's that's fine. And then he has 70 fielding, 68 arm strength, 72 arm accuracy, and 73 reaction with 76 speed. So Silver Fielding can play a good amount of position, so he's a good kind of like utility player. And actually, let's check his missions real quick. So 11 extra base hits and 13 RBIs with third baseman. Then Pirate Souvenirs, that's 300 and 3,000 for the Live Series Exchange. I feel like these have gotten more expensive. I don't think they were that expensive before. We got Glaber Torres. Like, I was saying he should have got a player of the month card, but I'm actually fine with him getting a Future Stars card. It was either or. I, I was saying if he doesn't get a player of the month card, he definitely should get a Future Stars card. And I think because this one, he got a Future Stars, it definitely has better stats than what a player of the month card would have had. But this has 86 contact versus righties, 76 versus lefties, 73 power versus righties, and 75 versus lefties with 63 vision. And then he has 80 fielding, 78 arm strength, 74 arm accuracy, and 75 reaction with 68 speed. So fielding stats are pretty good. And then his hitting stats, I think they're pretty good. They're, they're definitely balanced, and his vision is not bad. So he can play short, second, and third base. We're definitely going to be getting him. I'm trying to get this card ASAP. But taking a look at his missions, you need shortstop stats with American League players. Oh, just, yeah, American League shortstops, you got to get 40 hits, 10 runs, 15 extra base hits, 5 home runs, 15 RBIs, and 5 stolen bases. So it doesn't really seem that bad. Then exchanging Yankee souvenirs, you need 1,000 for that. And then you need to exchange shortstops, you need 20,000 for that. So that's a lot. I think that's the most for these uh positional programs i don't i don't remember them being that high next we have annabelle sanchez so annabelle sanchez 85 overall diamond has 90 stamina 76 hit per nine 85 k per nine and a 68 walk per nine and then he has a 94 fastball 86 splitter 87 slider 94 sinker and an 80 curveball so some good pitches right there his hit per nine and k per nine number they're pretty good they're pretty good, and his walk per nine number is not bad either. So I think this is a solid diamond starting pitcher. Taking a look at his missions, you need 30 innings pitch, three wins, and 30 strikeouts with AL starting pitchers. So probably just play nine inning games. Normally I would say conquest, but you need you need innings pitch and strikeouts. So I think regular nine inning games would be the best. And then the exchange tigers souvenirs for 600 and starting pitchers for 12,000. So that is the Annabelle Sanchez card. And for some reason, like, his card looks really weird, like, on, on that right side. Then we got Bartolo Colon, 82 overall gold card. Same one from last year. I think, yeah, the Annabelle Sanchez was last year, too. But this one has 96 stamina, 64 hit per nine, 67 K per nine, and an 84 walk per nine. So hit per nine and K per nine number is kind of low. But he does have that nice walk per nine number that will definitely be good. And then he has the 92 two-seam fastball, the 96 four-seam. 86 slider, 83 changeup, and an 80 curveball. So definitely has a nice fastball and some pretty good off-speed pitches. Then we have to get three wins and 25 strikeouts with live series starting pitchers. Maybe do this one in Conquest. Maybe do this one in Conquest. Or at least do like a couple of them in Conquest. And then exchange Angel Souvenirs, 150. So this one's pretty cheap. And then exchange starting pitchers. That one is 2,500. So this one's not bad at all. And then we have Chris Young. So another starting pitcher. This card was in the game last year. This one has 84 stamina, 90 hit per nine, 83 K per nine, and 48 walk per nine. So hit per nine and K per nine numbers are pretty good. And he has like one of those tough motions to pick up. So this card has, uh, like, I, I like this card. I definitely like this card. Has the 91 fastball, 82 slider, 82 changeup, and a 73 curveball. So he has a pretty nice curveball. With that 91 fastball. So a good pitch differential. Speed differential right there. And then for these you got to get 15 innings pitched. And 2 wins. Probably do this in a 9 inning game. Probably do that in a 9 inning game. And then exchange starting pitchers. 2,500. That's not bad. And then Pod Padre souvenirs. You need 150. So not a bad mission right there. And then is that the last one? The last one is right here. The Phil Hughes card. 80 overall, has 30 stamina, 82 hit per nine, 93 K per nine, 62 walk per nine. So good hit per nine and K per nine numbers. This is the relief pitcher version. And then he has a 94 fastball, a 78 knuckle curve, 89 cutter, and a 93 two-seam fastball. So his pitches aren't bad. It would be nice if he had like another off-speed pitch.
But I, I like the fastball and the cutter. And knuckle curve is not a bad pitch at all. So this could be a solid relief pitcher. And then the missions, 20 innings pitch, 20 strikeouts with Yankees relief or closing pitcher. So that one shouldn't really be that bad. And then Yankees souvenirs, this one is 150. And then exchange relief pitchers, this one is 2,500. So I believe that is the last of the positional programs. We definitely got some nice ones. Annabel Sanchez, Bartolo Colon's not bad. And that my favorite is the Glaber Taurus. So that's the one we're going to try getting as soon as possible. And that's it. Yeah, that's it for the positional programs. But that is going to do it for this one. So we got the roster update. Paxton is the only player to go diamond, which I, I, he definitely deserved it. But I thought maybe some more would go diamond. And then we have six new positional programs, I believe, which is definitely pretty nice. And my estimate is because we got a good amount of positional programs this week, is that maybe next week we get our next set of career arcs. If not next week, definitely in two weeks, I would say. Next week, they might drop some more positional programs. And once they do that, then the next week has to be career arcs. But definitely by the end of this month, I expect to have some more career arcs available. And then we can finally get our first immortal or immortal players. So that is, I guess, I, I guess that's it. <laughs> I guess that's it. Let me know what you guys think about this update. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm out.